Okay, so now it's time to show you the actual collaboration process. We will be talking uh, at length about different workflows, different strategies for collaborating with Git in the next section. For now, I'm just going to show you, uh, I don't know, making a commit as Colt and then a commit as Stevie and pushing and pulling and working with multiple people. Okay, so nothing crazy. Same repo, we'll use this bookish disco, which is currently completely empty. The first thing we have to get out of the way, just quickly up front, is that normally uh, to collaborate, you need more than one person, right? Uh, so I can't exactly collaborate with myself, but I can kind of fake it. I'll pretend to be two different users. Uh, I have two different GitHub accounts. That part is easy, right? I have one GitHub account for Colt, as we've already seen. Uh, that's in my Chrome window. And I have another GitHub account for Stevie that I'm using in Safari. So I can have those two things signed in at once. That's easy, it's just two different applications, two browsers. What is not as easy is having two different Git users active on my local machine, in my terminal. In fact, it's kind of annoying because uh, if you remember setting up the SSH keys, uh, it's a bit of a pain to set this up. So all that you need to know is that yes, I'm working on one machine. This is all the same computer that I'm recording, but I've set it up in such a way that I have one Git user that I'll be working with on this window where it says Colt. It will be this same GitHub account, Colt. And then where it says Stevie, this terminal, I'll be working as a completely different GitHub user. So anything I do here will be as Stevie. Anything I do here will be as Colt. This is definitely not something you need to do. I, I don't recommend it. Uh, just focus on being one user. That's how most people use Git. This is really just a conundrum I've run into to teach Git in collaboration. Okay, so yes, it's one computer, but imagine it's two separate computers across the globe from one another. So uh, right now, nobody has done any work on this repository, Bookish Disco. So who's gonna move first? Uh, let's do Colt first. And according to Git, or to GitHub rather, the instructions want us to do git init, uh, and then add a file, or do some changes, then commit, and then rename the branch to main, and then add on this remote, and then push. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we can do it that way, or we could just clone the empty repo, but we'll do git init, make sure we're not in anything. Let's actually do this in a folder. I'll call this bookish disco. You don't have to do that. All right, so git init, and then uh, let's make a file in here. W what's gonna be in bookish disco? Maybe just a playlist, or how about artists.txt? Disco artist is what we'll put in there. And then I'll add that file, add artist.txt, whoops, git add artists, git commit. Uh, let's just do initial commit, nothing exciting. Okay, so I have that file and I have that commit made by Colt. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is, if I'm gonna follow these instructions, uh, I'm going to rename my master branch to main. Of course, you do not have to do that, but that is what GitHub is asking us, or at least recommending these days. So we'll, we'll do it just to get more practice working with main instead of master. Okay, so now before I can push, I need to add a remote. So we add this remote here. We'll call it origin, as they tell us to do, uh, using this URL. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. We should have this new remote. There it is. Great, so now I can do a push. Git push origin main. That's the name of my branch. And there's just one commit. It's not an exciting commit. If I refresh, initial commit, we just made a file, artist.txt. All right, so it's on the main branch. And now if I'm Stevie over here, I refresh the page on Stevie's account. Remember, it shows Colt because that's who created the repo, but I'm on Stevie's account. You can see that here, signed in as Stevie Chicks. Uh, so we see, okay, there's stuff here now. Artist.txt, there's a single commit. So I want to get this on my machine and start working on it as Stevie. So Stevie could clone this. We copy that URL and then we go to Stevie's terminal and we make sure we're not in a repo. Okay, and then we clone. Okay, so we now have this folder, bookish disco. And I cd inside of it, we're on the main branch, type git log, I'll make this a bit larger here. We see that uh, we have that one commit from Colt and that's it. So let's go ahead and make our own commit. We've got this artists file. 
let's add on uh, some disco artists if that's what we're doing here. Let's do the Bee Gees. And then um, what else? How about Sylvester? And then we will add that. So git add artists, git commit dash M, add to artists. Okay, so we're on the main branch. We now have a commit that we've added as Stevie Chicks. The other original commit came from Colt. This is from Stevie. Remember, two completely different laptops or machines across the, the globe from one another. We're collaborating. And I'm now going to push this up so that it's on GitHub and Colt can go and get it. So to do that, we need to push. See our remote is called origin. So git push origin main. That's the branch we're working on. Come on. We refresh the page on GitHub and we see now we have two commits. Add to artists, that's the most recent change. There we go. So then the final part of this basic workflow of collaborating is as Colt, making sure I get these changes. So how would I get those changes? Well, there's a couple of options, but normally if I, I just want them on my main branch, I would just pull. So I'm now on Colt's machine and I don't have that most recent commit. So the easiest option is just to pull down uh, if we're looking for the main branch, it's the only branch we have, or if it's master or whatever it is. In this case, I'll just do a git pull origin main, and I'll pull down onto the branch I'm currently on. And it tells us fast forward, right? We just got a commit that we didn't have. Uh, one file changed. I can see if I type git log, uh, we now have that new commit from Stevie. And I could now do some more work and push that up and Stevie could pull down, right? If I take a look at the artist file, we have Bee Gees and Sylvester. We have officially collaborated across the globe using GitHub. So I created a GitHub repo. I added Stevie as a collaborator. Then I did some work. I pushed it up. Stevie cloned. And then Stevie did some work and pushed that up and I pulled down. So that's the most basic workflow. Uh, I just wanted to show you, you know, how that works to have multiple people pushing. In the next section, we'll talk a lot more about potential workflows and the pros and cons of different approaches for collaboration.